Sweetie Nana Tazzy here, and I thought while I'm messing around, I would uh, show you guys what I'm up to. I am making, well, they're going to be envelopes, essentially. Uh, you could turn them into glassing bags, I guess, but I'm taking tracing paper, because it's cheap, and I'm throwing them all around thusly. I'm about done with this paper pack here. Let's see. Let's uh, have odd ones. Try and keep them even because we're going to put ink down, spray it with water, put the top piece down, mush it, flip it. Okay? Not rocket science, which is good because it's too early for rocket science. But I'll show you how I do this part and then when these are dry I'll come back and, and We'll cut them up and turn them into other things. Also, I like them as um, texture pages in junk journals. What mood are we in today? Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. What colors do we want? I ran out of my magenta and the awesome blue, so... See what the uh, teal, we don't have a lot left, I'm about out, but the teal and the purple, let's see what those look like. Okay, let me put that up here. I need to clean the rest of my desk again. Alright, make sure if you're playing with inks that you are doing it on something you can splash or make mess on. Okay, I'm just going to throw it all around. There we go. Get a good blur. A blur. Oh, that was almost my shirt. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. That's paint from a previous project. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Um, yeah, that's about out. Let's see. Oh! You know what? I don't have much of that, so I'm going to cheat since we're going to water it down anyway. Magic, 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 magic. I'm in such a good mood today, you guys. You guys are awesome. I launched my um, 500 subby giveaway yesterday, and the response so far has been absolutely amazing. I am just, I am so grateful. You guys are awesome. Just really, really awesome. Very cool. Okay, so no particular pattern or whatever. Just throw your ink down. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, that one's going to be dark, dark, dark. Okay, next time I think I'll put the water down first if I'm using purple. Because you don't need much of the purple. Oh my god, that's delicious. Okay, your paper, your your transfer paper, or copy paper will um will buckle and wrinkle and roll up a little bit. It's all good, it's fine. It makes amazing texture. Okay, and since I have a squidgy one, it's like just the one. Let's see if we can't get some more of that ink there. Oh no. Okay. And see they do roll up and split, that's fine. Now we're not going to let this sit for too terribly long. We want it to, um, we don't want it to dry together. I find that the uh, paper will tear. Okay, let's do this, and because it's just the one, I'm going to Alright, Okay, so, 
we'll get those ready to put back in their home. And very gently pull them apart. Yeah, those are way wet. Way wet. Oh, they're delicious though. Oh, I don't know about that. Let's just let's just do some runoff, shall we? There we go. That'll work. La 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 la. Patty cake, patty cake. See, they start to stick. Um, some of your paper may try and, and tear a little bit. It's fine, uh, depending on what you're you're gonna do with it. But that that part, see how the, the water just crinkles up that uh, transfer paper? Or tracing paper. What I don't know what you want to call it. That paper what's cheaper than glassine bags. That you can do all sorts of stuff with. Alright, I think I'm going to um Pull that out. There we go. Okay. All right. Lovely. There's a good way to start the day with some colors. All right. I'm going to let those dry, and I'll come back and we'll play with the rest. Actually, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to try something. Let's see. That's that side. Let's do a little experiment, shall we? Because that's how I roll. Oh my God! Yes. Oh my gosh, it is so much fun. Okay. Yeah, I did not set up a drying station per se. Okay, that's let's do some on this side. And I'm going to dip it in the back side as well. Whoa. Okay. Should be fine there. Let's fix that a little bit. Let's do this one. Oh, yeah. Just a little, a little extra color right there. If you are into papers of all sorts, the, the crinkly, crunchy papers, this is the project for you. And if you don't have the fancy inks, um, I got those for... I think I bought those for my birthday. I got birthday money, which was amazing. Um, yeah, I think I got those for my birthday. I got the set number one of the, the P.H. Martins, the Dr. P.H. Martins India inks. Um, I do need to get all of them because I do love them. But if you don't have the fancy inks, you can do the, uh, if you make your own alcohol inks with either Sharpies or the Wilton uh, food gel. Um, I'm still, i got to get some more stuff before I, um, do a video for those, but um, I cannot remember who requested, but I will do a video on, on how I make mine, okay? Um, oh my gosh, so excited. Alright, uh, we're going to let these dry, come back and play with them. Okay, you guys, it's been a while. Trying to sit out in the front porch in the sunshine and peace, and the neighbors are having huge domestics, so I had to deal with that trying to watch um, 70 Acres Studios live feed. She's amazing. If you haven't checked her out, you need to. Um, I'll try and remember to put the, the link in the description below. But she's awesome. Um, it's uh, Melissa is her name. But yeah, she's a lot of fun live streams as well. Okay. Yeah, that should be, should be good. Alright, what do we want to make with these? Okay, some of them I want to leave as they are. So, probably, uh, let's 
Okay. That one, not that one. Not that one. But I think I'll go with that one to work. Okay. And that one. And keep those as um, pages in drug journal. Now, all of this mess. Let's see. Today, I want to play with. Chubby ones, that's cute. Alright, let's cut that about there. Yeah, let's cut that one. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, let's do a small page there. Hey, Jay Carl, what you doing? Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Is it nap time for you again? Since you're growing so dang quickly. He's all of. Where are we at now? 12 weeks old, I think, now. And, uh, has hit 30 pounds. <laughs> Gonna be a big boy. I'm giving salmon as often as we can, so that should help his joints. That, and he thinks it's an amazing treat, anyway. Oh, this one's messy. I love it. Let's do... Let's do that in general. I don't want to cut that down too much, so I can do it that way too. That's not terribly straight, so I should probably fix that. This is how I end up with so many scraps. This, this stuff, I end up putting them in a box and just keeping it. You're okay, sir. Alright, let me start. Well, Let's do that one too. And that one. And that one. I have a special project for these. Okay. Okay. You see, sometimes if they get stuck to each other, they'll, they'll tear a little bit. Um, that doesn't bother me any if you don't want to use that, or if you're doing a journal, something that you're going to sell or, you know, give as a gift. If it's not a junk journal, um, I would cut parts of it off and use it for something else. Um, and I don't have any, like, um die cutting things or anything but if you guys do and have tried um, painted uh, tracing paper on those will you let me know how they work because eventually I, I hope to have some basic shapes you know flowers or something God, those are so pretty I almost don't want to make pockets out of them almost Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear the neighbors. It's been quite the day. It's okay, Jane Carl. Come here, honey. It's okay, honey. Come here. Come here. Oh, you're such a love. Yeah, you're such a love. Hi, buddy. Honey, it's okay. I know. They're not very nice to each other, are they? No, they're not. Not cool. Not cool. Alright, let's 
see. Um, that there. Okay, and I want to open this. And open these. And I want to cut a little, snip a little knot right here. Wow, my hands are shaky today. That's fabulous. Living dangerously. <laughs> oh my lord. Alright, and then we're going to fold that that way. Oh no, we're not. We're going to unfold it and unfold these bits here on our fold line. Which isn't as forgiving as paper. We're gonna do it anyway. Yeah, see that one was not. No bueno. Okay. And then we'll fold that one up like that. Yeah. Trim these as well so they don't get hung up as we put things in and out of our pocket here. And then we'll just glue our little tab pieces to there and we should have enough room to make something that we can embellish later. I really hope you guys can't hear the neighbors. It's terrible. Even when they're all doing good and getting along, the way they talk at each other and the language they use... I I'm, I'm, don't care if people cuss. I cuss myself. It's just a thing. Or I should have trimmed that inside edge. Oh. But yeah, the way they, they actually speak to each other is... I would consider it tragic, honestly. I didn't cut anything straight today. Not that I do ever, but... You know, I just want some... I want some little, little wide chubby ones. Oh, yeah, that's... There we go. Maybe. No, no. Let's see. Let's do this here. Well, I should do that on the back. Pay attention. I have not had enough coffee. My reason for this is that the dog, the baby puppy, has figured out if he can get himself on the couch and walk across the um, coffee table thing we've got pushed against the couch so we can't get underneath it, he's figured out he can walk right across that and get to the little craft table I have set up where all my nano stuff is currently. Because it's very tricky like that. Okay, I want just a little pocket, I think, now. There we go. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing and do a little arrow snip. Snip. I wonder if there's a tool that does that shape for you. Of course, I need to dig it out and blah, blah, blah. Okay, this one I want to clip. And this one, because that's the one I forgot in the previous one. You don't have to do this, but um, it helps get things in and out of your pockets. If you're like me and way overstuffed pockets, um, it's just it's just a good idea to uh, give them a little help there, so it doesn't stress them out. Cause stress is bad, people. Stress is bad. So I was editing video and got it all put together and, and scheduled for next week. 
and it dawned on me, I totally get why so many people do live videos now. It takes so long to edit videos, especially since my projects take forever anyway. Um, yeah, but that totally makes sense. No, 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 no. That's adorable. Now, I don't have a cute little corner thing, or I would totally round corners, because for some reason, rounded corners appeal to me. I don't know when this started, where it came from. No idea. <gasps> Let's do something fun. Yeah. All right, let's, um... Let's see, let's go back here. And about here. Ugh. And then about here. And I'm going to waste a whole bunch of this. Don't be sad. We'll make more. Don't be sad. Okay. And then I'm going to, in a, like... Actually, I should get out my funky scissors is what I should do. So I don't have to worry about this part so much. Because they're so old that they're not very sharp and don't cut very well anyway. <laughs> Jane Cobb, what are you doing, sir? Just checking everything out. Is it up to spec? Huh? Is it all good? Thanks for checking, buddy. Okay. Hmm. Now, if you notice, I'm not following any rules or measurements or guidelines. I am willy nilly cutting flowery shaped circles. Just really nilly, because, you know, that's how we roll. Willy nilly. Maybe we should make a song called Willy Nilly to the tune of Wooly Bully. <laughs> no? Okay. Um, oh, I thought it was funny. I think it's important to be able to crack yourself up. Okay, that is a terrible shape, but we'll see how we can't make it work. See. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to save this or not. Maybe. Maybe some. Ooh, they might make a cool mermaid piece or something. Oh, that looks like a cat shape. How cute is that? Hey, guys. So, I haven't touched half of this stuff for days, at least this part. Um, the last chunk of video I did on um, making these papers and turning them into uh, library pocket type things and little envelopes. Um, yeah, apparently I lost the last half or the last part of that video. So I apologize for that, but this is what we ended up making. And we've just got little bitty little bitty pockets that are adorable um, let's see, and then these will go on like so and we'll have a, a small tuck spot pocket in the back one in the front, one in the back so there's a double pocket and the little envelopes, you can stick them in however you want um, I like to sew them in uh, or stick them, glue them in this way the glue down the sides along the bottom so that you still have an extra pocket here and you still have stuff you can put in here and get in and out again. But we shall see. Uh, that was those. Well done. They're for a specific project. We also made some flowers. Little noisy crinkly flowers. See? 
those came out pretty good I think and I played with a giant one um, it moves I don't know what I'm going to do with it but it was fun alright since I played with that let's see alright these ones have a specific project going for them and these ones we need to play with a little bit but not yet I've also been making um, just using up scraps and making tags and bookmarks and things and these are in various states of um, being done so I won't bore you with that today but yeah basically just glue, glue whatever scrap fabric or uh, magazine papers you have to tags that you get from clothing or um, like uno cards leftover playing cards that one I'm going to leave as is it's a pretty tag already um, this came from my new bottle of the green Tabasco sauce because I love it um, this was, um, well that's the, the rest of that box but uh, on the back is a, a, a pleather fabric um, that's all embossed and stuff from uh, leftover from semi Halloween costume okay every time I try and do video now the dog decides he's got to be a pain in the butt Jacob no just when I'm trying to do stuff okay sure all right what I really 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 need to share with you though so that I can play with it hey buddy are you okay did you see the lady walking out the front? Yeah, she's allowed to walk out the front. Okay, let's begin here. So, I went to Tuesday morning, um, which I would do far more often, but the budget doesn't allow for it. But, thanks to my tip jar angels, um, I decided I would go and have a look and see what I couldn't get by way of being thrifty. They had little bitty mini bags there that I'm loving. I'm going to decorate those. Now, this was a huge win. Absolutely, I almost wet myself just with glee. I was so happy. This is 240 sheets for $5. It's called Four Seasons. It's scrapbook type paper with all four seasons worth of paper prints in here how stinking cute are these now I'll pick this up because I know that there's no way it'll be there next time I go whenever that may be because that just happens to me at Tuesday morning summary stuff oh my gosh it's just too cute but for five bucks like, yes, absolutely yes. All the cute little school stuff. And the biggest call I had to that, or for that, was I have been really brave and tore apart the flow book for paper lovers. You guys, oh my gosh, we'll get into this part in a minute. But um, I wanted to add papers to what I'm trying to do with those papers. Okay, hang on. I don't want to get them all mixed up here. <coughs> okay, so I had to do that because, oh, yeah, and I don't know, I didn't say um, how many like repeats of patterns there were or anything. Three, four, okay, about four. Well, no, not necessarily. Yeah, about four. Four per sheet. Or four sheets per design. That's pretty cool. I can do a lot with that and see the covers already coming off. So yeah, there are only two of those. I think I should have got the other one. But I didn't because I didn't want to spend all my money. Well, I do because how fun would that be? But I found, it's called First Ladies of the Poster. 
This is the coolest book. Apparently it's worth $45, but I picked it up for 8 But it's all old school posters. I don't know if these this were collected by first ladies or what, but I'm not so much worried about that part as, look at these. How stinking cool is that? So, I need to... I'll probably need to scan one side pages. Well, no, maybe all of it. I don't know. I'm going to cut all of these out, though, and use as much as possible. Because these will be great um, either on pages or to make into tuck spots or hiding pockets or um, on tags or sachets or how beautiful is that so yeah I could not walk away from this one so I'm, I'm quite pleased with myself that I even found it but uh, yeah this this book is amazing There was also, I really wanted to get them, but I know I'll just blow right through them, but they had the six pack of the really big bottles of um, Tattered Angels, the Glimmer Mists or whatever they're called, the, the really shiny ones, oh my gosh, those were $10 though, so hopefully they'll be in there again sometime, but yeah, it was like, I can't do all this, so. That is just amazing. Look at these. Just wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And they're from all over the world, it looks like. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So these will be popping up in um, either collage or journals, junk journals. Jane, sir. They're just wonderful. But I had to show these with you like right now <laughs> before I forget. And that way I don't start playing with them and not share them. Okay, let's see. Let me put these here for a minute. Now, oh, that can be good. Okay, sorry about that. Jane Cobb has decided he's going to pull down some of the plants, the very expensive tropical plants that we've got to grow here in New Mexico. I'm going to pull them down and then bark at them because I have um, a resin-looking cane toad um, from back home in the bottom of my plant. So yeah, that was an ordeal, Jane. No, sir. Okay. I'm not a happy camper right now. It will be fine. Can you find a spot to lay down, sir? Okay, so I have gutted, not in the traditional sense of gutting books. These are all um, made to tear out. Um... But I've, I've torn out everything that I can out of the flow book for paper lovers. I have also, um, let's see here, oh, dirt on me. Oh, okay. I have also that's all these. Let's see, all these pages, and I've started folding and playing with a lot of them and adding other things to this pile. I will show you why in the next chunk of video, which will be sped up so you don't have to, don't have to worry about uh, so much noise or stopping and starting near as much. Um, I also went through the... Um, the notebook for paper lovers. Um, this is this is all those pages, um, and I'm going to turn these into notebook. 
I don't know if I want to do traveler style notebooks or if I want to do just journals or what, but I will be turning them into something for this video. Um, and yeah, from here on out I'll, I'll fast forward so you don't have to spend days with me yelling at the dog. <laughs> Ugh, I'm not feeling good. I thought I'd, I'd had a handle on it, I was feeling better, and then the mister came. Okay, the mister came down with whatever crap's going around again, and it's hit him hard. Um, I've just got the really run-down, fever, achy part. But on top of that, um, I'd gone back to starting keto, so I'm on day three again, so I'm being not feeling good fighting cooties and that is, is taking a toll but it's going to be good it's going to be fine um let's see but yeah these i absolutely love these and i've been afraid i was like okay i'm going to be brave i'm going to use my beautiful papers i'm going to dive in and tear them all out of my book i did that i started folding them and playing with them how i you know sizes that made sense that i really love okay cool They've been sitting all weekend, it's what, Tuesday now? It's been sitting right here while I do other stuff over here because I've been afraid to actually put them in a book and then either not like it or not use it. How dumb is that? So, since I did promise that I will be tearing the pages out and using them, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so, if you want to, um... Grab a cuppa, stick around, and see what mess I can't make with these. And then you can yell at your screen and go, no, don't do it like that. <laughs> or whatever. But yeah, hit me up in the comments below if you guys have any questions or thoughts or um, other ideas that we could have done with so many papers. I am going to add the new papers in with the book lovers papers. I've cut down um, the wrapping papers that were in there. Um, let's see. Yeah, we've, we've got all sorts of stuff in here. So the next part's going to be thinning it all out, making sure it's as even as I can get it, and going from there. Oh, and these I'm keeping separate for their own. These are the months, the monthly ones. So I have a, a special project for these. I have so many special projects right now, it's crazy. Oh, and these, I've got a... I don't know what I want to do with them. If I want to actually cut them out and use them, or collage with them, or just use them as pages on their own. <sighs> this is way more stressful than I thought it would be. I don't know. We have so many things we could do with them. But I don't want to hoard anything. I want to use it. I do, I do, I do, I do. You know what, screw up. I'll figure it out as we go. Uh, first thing I need to do is finish this cup of coffee and then tear the rest of this book apart because I want every part of this book used. Look, they provided belly bands and epic cardboard and this cool little folder pocket. And I just, I love everything about it. So yes, I will be using this. And I do have the covers somewhere. Oh, I have way too many challenges and, and things going on right now. Um, I will find it. I'll find the covers from the notebook because I'm going to use those as covers as well. Or as TN style covers. Alright. Let me go do coffee. I'll be back and well, it'll take me most of the night but um, it should be a much quicker video if I speed it up. So yeah, I'll see you later. Love you, bye.